Welcome to Deutsche Math September newsletter. This is part three of four where we solve middle school fifth through eighth grade word problem set. The question here we're dealing with is uh, Zoe has a favorite number in mind. Three fifths of that number is 60. What is Zoe's favorite number? So let's go right to the blackboard and let's solve this problem. Now for this particular problem I will actually use two methods. Method one I will use our regular um, arithmetic methods so that I'm gonna assume that uh, the introduction of variable is not a familiar concept for you yet and then on the method two I will introduce the variable that's the pre-algebra so watch out for two methods. Let's get started. So we were told that three-fifths of a Zoe's favorite number one, two, three, four, five, three-fifths of Zoe's number so I'll put a ratio like last problem over here, we'll put a ratio on this side and then we'll put the actual number on this side. Uh, three fifths of the whole number, so that's the three, and the green is our five. So three fifths of the whole number um, is 60. So three fifths is the three up here. We were told that three fifths of the actual number is 60. Now, from this diagram, it's pretty easy for us to see. Well, I have one, two, three blocks, and the, the three blocks added together is 60. So, if I were to grab each one of the blocks out, I would have 60 divided by three. Because once again, I have three blocks over here. There's one, there's two, and there's three. So three blocks is equal to 60, and then I would say each block and then is equal to 20. Since the three-fifths of the number is 60, and we're interested in the whole block, the whole number, the big number, then I have five blocks, and each one is at 20. Each one represents 20. So Zoe's number is, as you guessed, 5 times 20, or 100. Okay, it's a pretty easy one. Now let's go on this side, and then this time I'm going to use a chalk or oh, white color. We'll solve this one in our um, algebra way. Algebra is where we introduce the concept of variable. We were asked what is Zoe's number and then we're going to start we're going to assume as if we're going to pretend almost as if we know we know what this number is we're going to call it number n we're going to call Zoe's number is n now from here it's a very interesting what we do from here now we were given that a three fifth of Zoe's number is 60. All right. Now what we're going to do from here is we are literally going to go in to this words and we're going to drag an equation out. An equation is made of two parts, a variable and an equal sign. All right. So we'll see three fifths of Zoe's number. What is Zoe's number? Zoe's number is n. Three fifth of means multiplying three fifth of Zoe's number is 60. Voila, we have an equation on our hands. So what happens is now we have a variable, which is here. That's a question mark, basically. We don't know what this thing is, but we will use math or arithmetic almost to find out what this n is. But the, but the translating of words into equation is what algebra is all about. In the next few uh, six, seven clips, you will learn a lot about how translating words into equation. As a matter of fact, that's the core of algebra one. Now let's go on, let's see if we can solve this one. What do we do for this one? Our end results, end goal is we want to have n by itself, because then that will give our, our mystery number, our little question mark here. Now we have this little coefficient, that's just the number in front of the variable. We want to get rid of it. 
the way mathematically we get rid of a thing or a number, a coefficient in front of variable is we do the opposite operation. The operation here, of course, is our multiplication. So opposite of multiplication is division. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide 3 fifths on this side. That will get rid of this coefficient over here. Effectively, we will cancel it. However, the equation requires equal sign. If I just get rid of 3 fifths on this side and do nothing over here, then I would not have kept the, kept the equal sign here. So what I need to do is I need to do the identical mirror operation on this side as well, on the left side of equal sign, on the right side of equal sign. Think of this one as, as a little um, balance act. Okay, there's this side, called left side of equal sign, right side of equal sign. Okay, and then we accomplish the n. So here we have n is equal to 60 divided by 3 fifths. As you know from our earlier arithmetic, when you divide something, we need to do the reciprocal. Basically, we we'll need to flip the number and change into multiplication. Okay, and then as you can see, we can do a simple um, arithmetic here. It's three goes in sixty twenty times. As you can see it, twenty times five is one hundred. Just like we get way back here, we see that Zoe's favorite number is 100. Now, is one method better than the other one? Not necessarily. However, in order for your math to grow, more and more problem will look like this. Okay, we'll put an I here. So this is something you do have to look out for, that the ability to translate words into numbers, it's a very, very critical a very, very critical concept coming up. So um, have a confident day.